I, I don't know about you, but, but it definitely does seem like the modern American diet has changed uh, over the years. And uh, you're going to have to pay for that guy's health care, whether you like it or not. Well, come back. Beautiful and amazing human beings. My name is Luke Rodowski here of wearechange.org. And there's a lot of absolutely crazy and wild news to get into today. As, of course, a lot of people are being rounded up and arrested for their political ideas. As it looks like we are ever approaching a 1984 Orwellian state. All of this as we might be saved or obliterated by aliens. Yes, UFOs, black holes, CERN, Hydron Collider. We're going to be talking about that, plus all the latest developments as we have some very interesting news when it comes to the larger kind of existential external life that might be beyond us or within us with interdimensional beings. What's really going on here? Well, we're going to be talking about that, plus a lot more all here on this independent media organization. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing, you can get it on the best political shirts Dot com and the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast was done by at real Nick O Cavadado, whoever this person is, we, we wish them well and we hope that they are on their individual health journey and no longer committing such horrendous troubling acts of self-sabotage as of course not so long ago fast food was just something that you ate maybe once a month once maybe a few months rarely if ever and now it's becoming the staple of the american diet which is absolutely filled with preservatives seed oils high fructose corn syrup artificial gums and sweeteners that are absolutely genetically engineered in order to get you hooked and addicted on fake artificial substances that that people can't quit that once people start taking they become dependent on that they learn to love that at the same time destroys them from within all of this as our FDA is run by some of the same criminals poisoning us as the revolving door between the multinational corporations and government regulatory agencies just continues to swirl around just like that guy's uh, fast food milkshake filled with a bunch of ranch and uh, Kool-Aid, burritos, fried chicken. That, uh, that that's This is the perfect representation of crony capitalism, essentially socialism, which is absolutely probably a lot more disgusting than the video that we have just seen here. He didn't need to give us the belly jiggle, but, but the production value here, top notch. Shout out to that guy. He's going to be linked in the description below us. Of course, we're not only getting less healthy, we're also getting less smart as the IQ of the United States has been going down, as well as many other parts in the Western world. As now, Mattel just announced that they're launching a new, quote, less intimidating version of Scrabble. Yes, for somehow, for some reason, Scrabble was uh, uh, too aggressive for the new generation of youth growing up. So they decided to make a less smart, less intelligent, less, quote, intimidating version of it. This as our acquiescence into idiocracy is almost here. And uh, not that far behind, as, of course, a lot of people are being arrested for simply just expressing political ideas or allegiances to political parties and individuals that the state really doesn't like. This as Trump's CFO, Alan Walsenberg, is now being sentenced to five months in jail in Rikers Island for lying under oath about the size of the ex-president's Manhattan penthouse. Yes, you heard that correctly. A Trump associate is literally going to prison for, quote, overestimating the square footage of Trump's penthouse. This as violent criminals are released onto the streets every single day in New York City with woke district attorneys that clearly are prioritizing political cases as a form of political repression with the silencing of dissent and destruction of any form of democratic republic democratic practices. This as also today we are finding out about a Florida woman who has been sentenced to jail for selling Joe Biden's daughter's diary as she just pleaded guilty to conspiracy charges as she received $20,000 of the $40,000 that was paid to her by Project Veritas for personal items belonging to the president's daughter, Ashley Biden. This as she was just sentenced to a month in jail 
as the FBI used the excuse of Project Veritas having this diary as an excuse to raid the homes of their journalists, including, of course, James O'Keefe, as the Biden DOJ was very aggressive in this particular situation and now literally put the person in jail who found her diary. A diary that, by the way, has a very uh, interesting entry into it that Project Veritas didn't decide to run because they couldn't verify, as, as journalistic institutions should do. But this diary in question ha had a very particularly weird incident in it Specifically de describing Joe Biden's daughter was afraid to shower because her father would force his way into the shower with her and how she had to wait until he was asleep in order for her to take showers. Highlighting some potentially very clear, illegal, horrible allegations of the current president of the United States that, of course, weren't fully investigated or looked into, as some people are still questioning the validity of this diary, while others say the probability of it being very real is very high. This, as a lot of people are calling for the images of the diary to be released in order to be able to verify a lot of this information which yet it still hasn't been fully released to the general public. All of this, as those are not the only people being thrown in jail as soon. Twitter employees in Brazil might face the same faith as they are now being threatened with arrest by the government in Brazil that is demanding Twitter censor some political speech accounts in their country, which Elon Musk said, no, I'm not going to be doing that. This as just a couple hours ago, the Argentinian government also responded by saying that they believe in freedom, especially freedom of expression, the freedom to live in a democracy, and that the Argentinian government will now be extending their embassies to provide refuge for anyone prosecuted at Twitter for allowing free speech in that country of Brazil. This says Argentina is being ruled by Javier Millet, a proclaimed anarchist that is literally cutting down a lot of bureaucratic government workers from being able to, of course, control every aspect of the people's lives there. And now Argentina providing safe refuge to Twitter employees after they face prosecution in Brazil highlights, hey, maybe not all hope is lost and there is still some refuge, some safe places for us to congregate as, of course, one of those places is LukeUnfiltered.com, our own quasi-secret, not-so-secret society where, of course, we get to talk to each other. We have a forum. We have awesome content available just for members centered around health, personal well-being, financial situations that you might find yourself in, a little bit of, of advice there all centered about you making the best decisions for yourself in a very troubled world that is only going to become more troubled. As of course, additional perks that we have for members of LukeUnfiltered.com are contest ticket giveaways. We're giving out tickets to the Mind Festival happening in Austin, Texas in just a few days from now with Jimmy Dore and many other incredible speakers. And we're going to be doing an official nature hike in Austin, Texas. This upcoming April 28th, yes, you heard that correctly, just for members of, of Twitter subscribers and members of LukeUnfiltered.com, we're doing a very special hike with you guys touching the grass, meeting people, getting to know each other, building communities, and walking out there into the wilderness all just by simply signing up to LukeUnfiltered.com as you get a plethora of incredible offers of values, 10 plus years of videos, three master classes, t-shirts only available for members, and now awesome nature hikes that you guys get to finance and build and organize all through your different kinds of memberships. As of course, we're going to be doing one nature hike coming up in Austin. We're going to be doing another one in Miami, which might have to be postponed until after Austin, just a heads up, because I've been incredibly freaking busy. There's a lot of things going on right now that I'm trying to schedule right now, and it's been very, very difficult, as well as your ability to call in to our live show that you guys get also just by signing up to LukeUnfiltered.com. Last night, we had an incredible show with Roger Stone. We're going to have an incredible show tonight with Peter Bogosian that is going to be going live 6 p.m. Eastern. You want to be a part of that video? You want to be on video with all of these incredible individuals? You want to call in, ask us a question? You can right now just by simply signing up to LukeUnfiltered.com. Dot com signing up on Twitter and we of course will be seeing you there 
later on today and right after this video with a special broadcast just for you. All of this as we have some very interesting conversations to have about the larger kind of spiritual inter dimensional energetic realities that we face here as of course recently CERN has announced that they are turning on the Hydron Collider which is looking for the God particle after they will be smashing atoms together at incredible speeds trying to discover what is the larger kind of energy force which behind atoms that gives it life and existence. The measurement of precious small particles in a larger scientific experiment that some scientists say is absolutely reckless and dangerous, as some physicists say that this is groundbreaking work looking into the nature of dark matter and the origin of life on Earth that could hold a lot of very interesting answers to our own existence. Now with that come, of course, a, a lot of different kind of implications automatically the first thing that kind of comes to mind is how will the people behind this weaponize this and exploit this geopolitically for their own personal profit and political aspirations as of course a lot of scientific experiments are usually financed by the u.s military industrial complex and done in a way where of course it's, it's not done through means of helping life rather than to of course absolutely wreck and destroy it this has individuals like david ike are even concerned with what cern is doing as now there's a harvard professor that actually came out and is now claiming that ufos unidentified flying objects aliens beings that are not of human origin have quote traveled to earth via the quote extra dimensions that CERN scientists are quote trying to unlock yes you heard that correctly this is an article from the Daily Mail that reads Harvard professor claims that UFOs could have traveled to earth via extra dimensions that CERN scientists are trying to unlock this as CERN scientists are quote trying to seek evidence of a sixth extra dimension as professor Avi Loeb has come out and officially stated that he believes that aliens could travel through these dimensions. Now, are these aliens? Are these spirits? Are these interdimensional beings? That, of course, as we know, the U.S. federal government has been running very interesting experiments about, as we have recently got very interesting comments from individuals like Tucker Carlson that, that describe what essentially are interdimensional beings that allegedly have have been working with elements of the U.S. government in a very secretive way that Tucker Carlson has previously warned could be hostile and influencing not just local governments, but, but also all of humanity. As, of course, this is something that I personally asked Tucker Carlson on stage at the TPUSA Summit during a live taping of the TimCast episode. As Tucker Carlson literally said, quote, they're not aliens. They've always been here. I do think it's spiritual and that there's, quote, there's good and evil that we are being acted upon on at all times. You are subject to forces from outside of yourself. Highlighting how a lot of what this Harvard professor is talking about could absolutely be real as Business Insider is detailing how he is risking his reputation for, quote, the search for aliens. All of this as a lot of tech tycoons are bankrolling his journey, his quest into this particular larger question that I think is absolutely worth freaking asking. Now, is he just looking for alien tech? Is he looking for a conversation that might have already started with some elements of the federal government? Or is he just a mad, crazy scientist that has lost his mind and has destroyed his reputation? What do you think is really going on here? Well, again, as of right now, we do not know the larger details of what's really going on here. But this Harvard astrophysicist has absolutely started a conversation that I think is worth having. As of course, if there are interdimensional beings, if there are aliens, if there are larger spiritual and entities out there, who's going to talk to them is going to be the one who determines the faith of humanity if they are already not talking to them already. Now, what would be happening during these conversations, during these exchanges is something that we could only hypothesize as, of course, there is something larger that is spiritual, that is energetic, that is beyond our comprehension, behind our understanding of reality, that has a deeper meaning that science hasn't really try, uh, kind of figured out here. 
As of course, many scientists believe that there's a lot more dimensions than we could actually perceive, feel, and understand. Are those particular dimensions where these larger kind of energetic entities kind of roam? I don't know. Or is this something that is just make-believe mystery and fiction just made up by individuals who were bored? Well, I think both scenarios should be at least talked about and pontificated about since this stuff is just absolutely fascinating to kind of think about. Now, will science be able to make breakthroughs in order to break the veil? This as a lot of scientists are automatically turned off by the idea, reluctant to, of course, even think about it and automatically kind of blow it off as fiction. Now, I think it's fair to say that whatever they find, especially with the CERN Hydrine Collider, that they're probably going to be keeping to themselves and not releasing the findings to the general public. This as some people are arguing that many black holes have already been started by the Hydron Collider. And there definitely is, is something to kind of talk about here as some people are saying, hey, can, 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 we, not, can we not play around with, with, with matches here uh, around this larger, uncertain, unknown, spiritual, energetic kind of interdimensional world that we have no idea about what, we, what we're doing? Can we not do that with uh, mainline scientists and, and tech moguls financing this saying, nope, as human curiosity definitely is going to be expanding with our ever ending pursuit of finding out what's really going on here with life on Earth, as there's already a lot of reports, a lot of them recently propagated by the federal government, that UFOs do exist, as if they're almost kind of readying us for some kind of a larger psyop or larger next big event, as the Daily Mail is also reporting that a surfboard-shaped UFO was filmed speeding around the moon by NASA's Lunar Orbiter, moving past each other at 7,000 miles per hour, looking like a blur, somehow photographed in this uh, particular image here that is now being propagated to the general public. This, as a lot of people in the western part of the United States are reporting that they're seeing more UFOs, with some people reporting that they're probably seeing a lot of kind of advanced U.S. military technology that still hasn't been released to the general public that they could conceive of. Now, with these disclosures from the federal government, a lot of people are automatically skeptical, and a lot of people are having an initial knee-jerk reaction by literally responding, the government wants me to believe this, so I won't believe this at all. This has, of course, there have been a lot of questions about the legitimacy of, of NASA. A lot of people are having concerns with this CERN Hydron Collider. As the quest for human humanity to find out what's really going on continues, will we get the answer anytime soon, especially with the advancement of quantum computing and technology that is going to be a lot more smarter, a lot more intelligent than the human mind? Well, probably. And uh, I don't know if that excites you or, or scares you. But I think it's it's fair to say, especially with technological advancement being perpetual, that uh, we're definitely in some interesting times. Now, I want to leave the question to you. Do you think the interdimensional beings are here? Do you think they exist? Do you think the U.S. government is already in contact with them? What do you think is going on right now? Let me know down in the comment section below. As, of course, these conversations, some of them say are just filled with mystery and fiction. Some of them say they're filled with actual science and reality. What's really going on here? Let's start that discussion down in the comment section down below. We are going to have another live show, 6 p.m. Eastern, later on today here on this particular YouTube channel. Subscribe, click the notification button as the conversation continues with Peter Bogosian and a lot of really incredible people that come here to Miami in studio with us to really be a part of incredible conversations that you get to be a part of by being a member of LukeUnfiltered.com. Sign up right now. New video coming your way there right now. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys, and this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on WeAreChange.org.